Well, good morning. Uh, I've come down to Doi Lo, uh, the weir, uh, the sluice gates at uh, Doi Lo on the Ping. Uh, I thought I'd come out after the weekend's rain, show you some of the lovely moist sites around the area. Uh, there is a bit of flooding on each side of the Ping as you came down, but I don't want to go into people's houses, but uh, you can see that they've got uh, inundation in their gardens on occasions. But it's not looking that bad in places that were it, six, eight months ago uh, were pretty bad. Ah, handy barriers. They don't, um, they don't let you fall in at this weir like um, they do up at Padet. You can see here the uh, force of the water on the far side there. Uh, the water comes around the bend and then hits this wall of sluice gates and all the rubbish is up that end that's being kept back. But as you can see in the gates along this end, there is minute plastic stuff and there is so much plastic there. Doi Lo, uh, the uh, Wat Pratet Doi Lo is up on the top there. It's always a nice view from the top there and uh, it's a nice ornate temple. And looking on downstream, that's a a lot of water. Hello, doggy. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. That was a cheese toasty. Yeah, can you smell the cheese toasty? Mm. There's some ham in there as well. Mm. well. I'm going to press on down river and see some of the uh, uh, flooding that's gone on uh, down at Jom Tong. Uh, I'll leave a link above to the previous video I did uh, on this uh, section of this journey uh, that I'm showing you today. Uh, maybe you can not compare so much as maybe I'll show you some other things that I'm not showing you today or vice versa and you might find it of interest. Uh, what we're seeing here is not exceptional. This is seasonal and um, it happens, it happens two or three times a year. The fisherman, where is he? I hope he's not gone in. He was here. He was here just now. Where is he? I've now come down to Jom Tong, and this is the Weir Gate across the Ping, the amazing meandering Ping at uh, this point uh, through Jom Tong. <laughs> These sluices appear to be wide open, allowing everything to flow on through. Uh, usually you see lots of weed here uh, being held back by the sluices because they uh, you know, are letting the water through, not the rubbish. But um, right now, they look to be wide open. There's actually a guy on a boat in the middle of the river with his boat across the stream. How about that? How dangerous does that look for you? And he's probably net fishing, which means all this rubbish coming down is in his nets. Oh my goodness me. These sluice gates are lifted and allowing the water to pass through unhindered. Uh, this gate here has never had a sluice, it just lets water through and it's uh, same level as the one next door. Oh, look at this. The rubbish that's getting tossed around in here, it's the same sort of rubbish that you see upstream. Uh, polystyrene, plastics, uh, shoes, helmets, footballs. Oh my goodness me. Oh 
always a bit shocking, isn't it, when you see something come up like that? Oh my. It's shocking when you see something pop up <laughs> dark, especially when it's dark. It's like, a, you know, a contrast with, with water and it like pops up and you think, oh my God, there's a monster popping up. But, you know, the washing machine, the tumbling that's going on around uh, the water coming over and then being swirled around brings up the, 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 uh, the wood to the top. He's got a dozen hooks and a weight. How about that? So from the tip of his rod there to the weight that you can see, there are hooks. So he's hoping to catch a, a fish, not by having bait on the hook, but just by snagging the fish. That's a bit barbaric, isn't it? Well, he's pulled it in three times now, and he hasn't caught any weed, which I'm really surprised at, because those dozen hooks would surely catch the weed as the weed's flowing past the hook. Oh, uh, there we go. Whoop, there you go. Wow, what a style of fishing there. I've not seen that before. You know, throwing it out with just hooks on and then pulling it back in. With a dozen hooks on your, on your line, uh, no bait, you're just being a savage, aren't you? You know, you're just trying to catch anything. And you caught a bit of weed there. Hope you saw that little bird there. The little sandpiper walking across the top of one of those sluice uh, gates there. Very interesting. Uh, obviously, his neighbourhood has been flooded out too much. He's normally seen in a field or you know near to water, but uh, on the ground, not uh, in this sort of uh, engineering structure. So, uh, forced resettlement. <laughs> Check my other video above. Uh, I did uh, the other day about uh, forced resettlement uh, in Lampun. Well, it's never easy when you're traveling through somewhere on a main road and uh, you think, well, I just want to turn right here just to look at something easily, quickly. And uh, the little soys that are around here, you think, no, it's not worth it. I'll, I'll do it another day. Well, after many years of traveling through Jom Tong, I've come here. It's a very pleasant spot. Now, this circular track around the outside of this Nong Kang Reservoir uh, in the center of Jom Tong uh, City is quite a beautiful and really unexpected delight if you travel through Jom Tong on a regular basis. You, you don't know it's here. <laughs> what a lovely view. Sit here and look out over the water with your mate, Daddy. And there's a tarmac road all the way round, so obviously if you come here in the evening, it's gonna have people exercising.
I've come over to the entrance to Doi Intinon National Park and to Mare Glang Waterfall area. In front of the National Park, the uh, road crossing here, you can see uh, the restaurants that have bamboo terraces out in front have been washed away again. Uh, it doesn't look as ferocious because maybe the, uh, the trees and all that which would have been washed down a few months ago has already done the damage and that's all already washed away. But uh, today there's a lot of water here. It's not too bad. It's full but it's not as bad as it has been recently from the uh, videos and the photographs I've seen uh, on Facebook about this so the water level has uh, subsided a little bit but over here you can see the uh, restaurant terraces have been washed away again they've been repaired they've been uh, recreated but again they've been washed away and this would be the third fourth time this year uh, that uh, this uh, water volume has passed through here knocking out their businesses the force of that water you can hear it over on that side and there are little screens coming off the mountain down onto this side as well The force of that water is amazing. Just looking at it for a few seconds, uh, you get to see some of the volume. You know, not just the, the width of the waterfall and the speed it comes over, but the depth of it too, as in the volume of that water that's cascading over that waterfall. You get a, a sense of it after looking a couple of seconds, and then you think, downstream all of that water that you've just seen is joining the last few days of it being like that and then joining the ping further on down it's around right about uh, three maybe four kilometers further down that it flows into the ping at John Kong and then it goes off down to Doi Dao well, I might do a video in a couple of days' time of Doi Dao as well. Uh, we'll see how the weather goes. Uh, it's always nice to go down there with a little bit of sunshine, uh, but right now the cloud base is so low uh, that there's no brightness for videos, especially from the air, to uh, give you the detail. But, uh, this water will go on down to the ping. It will inundate low-lying land uh, this morning in my drive through from uh, Jom Tong Weir up to Jom Tong itself uh, lots of gardens orchards were inundated with because they're low lying they're in the flood plain uh, but not because the river has swollen so much as the amount of water that's come down and then settled in that area so the ping is pushing it on through the Mare Glang this river is pushing all the water on through and the volume is increasing when it joins the main flow. I'm thinking about going down to Doi Tao in a couple of days and uh, doing another video down there. Once a lot of this has gone down and then uh, filled up that level and to see as to whether we've got a Doi Tao lake again. So uh, be sure to check that out. Thank you for joining me on this walk around some of the water spots I like to come and see some of the familiar places that uh, you have seen in my previous videos um, I hope you enjoyed this one see you in the next one take care bye bye